Hello, this is Dallin from the Hardy Nutritional Science team, and today I want to present the results of a recently completed clinical trial which used the Daily Essential Nutrients formula from Hardy Nutritionals in children with ADHD. Kids from age 6 to age 12 were recruited. The study was 8 weeks long, and the youngest kids were given 9 capsules per day, and m most of the kids in the study we're given 12 capsules per day of the Daily Essential Nutrients formula. <clears throat> it was published in the Journal of the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. It's titled, Micronutrients for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder in Youth, a Placebo-Controlled Randomized Clinical Trial. But in order to understand the true importance of this most recent study, we need to place it in the context, the larger context, of the previous double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled trials that were done using the daily essential nutrients formula as well. The first was in adults, it was eight weeks long, and they used 12 capsules per day of the daily essential, the same daily essential nutrients formula. You can see a theme there. It was published in the British Journal of Psychiatry, and it's titled, Vitamin Mineral Treatment of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder in Adults, a Double-Blind, Randomized, Placebo-Controlled Trial. The Next study was published in 2018. It was a 10-week study, again, 12 capsules per day of the Daily Essential Nutrients Formula, and it was published in the Journal of Child Psychology and Psychiatry, and it was titled, Vitamin Mineral Treatment Improves Aggression and Emotional Regulation in Children with ADHD, a Fully Blinded Randomized Placebo-Controlled Trial. So let's go through the outcome measures in these studies. The primary outcome measure in each of these studies was a clinician-rated outcome measure called the Clinical Global Impressions of Improvement for ADHD. So the clinicians rated the improvement in ADHD over the course of the study. And in all cases, it was statistically and clinically significant. In the adults, 73% of the adults who took daily essential nutrients experienced at least mild improvement and 38 percent of them experienced improvement that the clinicians rated as much or very much improved and that is a significant treatment response very clinically significant comparable to any other treatment for the disorder and and so that um, is what the researchers described at, called being a treatment responder. Much or very much improved was a rating that they called being a, a significant responder to treatment. And statistically, that was significant with a p-value of 0 0.02. So p-values, the lower the number, the more statistically significant it is. In the first children's double-blind study, about 70% of the kids experienced at least mild improvement, and 47% were treatment responders, much or very much improved in 10 weeks at 12 capsules per day. And the statistics on that, the p-value is 0 0.029, so that's the statistical significance. In the most recent clinical trial, they didn't tell us how many had at least mild improvement, some improvement. They only reported treatment responders, which is much or very much improved. And in this study, 54% of the children were treatment responders. And the statistical significance here is about as strong as you can get in a study. The p-value was less than 0 0.001. So very statistically significant. And so across all the studies, we can see a theme that ADHD, as, as rated by clinicians, is improved by daily essential nutrients.